Welcome to Chapter by Chapter. This is Episode 7 in Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 begins with three characteristics that should be true of every Christian ministry. We have wronged no one, corrupted no one, and defrauded no one. Or if phrased in the positive, we've maintained integrity in our relationships, leadership, and stewardship. Every Christian minister will one day answer to God for how he handled people, scripture, and money. Even a man of faith like the Apostle Paul had periods of discouragement. He recalled, outside were conflicts, inside were fears. For Paul, faith is not the absence of fear. Faith is courage in spite of it. God comforts the downcast, and often he uses people to communicate his comfort. Titus had rejoined Paul and had brought encouraging news from Corinth. Paul's rebuke had been received. The corruption in Corinth had been cleaned up. Paul's previous letter made the Corinthians sorrow, but it was a good grief. His words, like darts, had burst the bubble of their phony spirituality. The Corinthians, once loud and proud, were now remorseful and repentant. There are two types of sorrow. One produces a desire to change. The other grovels in self-pity. One regrets breaking the heart of God. The other regrets getting caught. One produces tears that bring a cleansing to the soul. The other produces tears that leave trails in a girl's makeup but make no inroads into her heart. Paul does not regret stepping on their toes because it drove them to their knees. If you're enjoying chapter by chapter, we hope you'll make a comment below. Thanks for listening.